Today's workout is a full body Pilates flow focusing on your core and your arms. I'm so happy you're here. All you need today is your mat. Let's get moving. So we're gonna start at the back edge of the mat with your feet at about hip distance. Big inhale, reach your arms up, lengthen the spine. Exhale, with a little bit of a hinge, we're gonna go into a spinal extension. Inhale, back to center, and your hands come down in front of your heart, and they float in front of the knees. Tuck your chin to your chest. Start to roll the spine down slow, one vertebrae at a time. Feeling the weight of the head, neck, and shoulders decompress the spine. Once your hands connect the mat, we're gonna walk it out to a plank position. Go into a push-up, bend the elbows, push the arms for three. Inhale, bend. Exhale, push for two. One more time, take it down. Drop it all the way down and press up into a swan. The tops of the feet are down into the mat. Your hands press firmly into the mat. Look to the right and pull the head to center. Look to the left and your head comes back to center and then drop it down onto your forearms. Extend the legs out, point the toes, kick the right leg twice to the glute, extend the leg, drop it down. Left leg kicks, twice, extend, drop. Right kick, twice, extend, drop. If this is too much on the low back, go ahead and move down even lower so that your forehead is onto the mat. But here we're strengthening the legs, strengthening the hips and the glutes. Kick, kick, extend. One more time each side, kick, kick, extend. Last one, kick, kick, extend. Beautiful job. Come to an all four tabletop position. Extend the right leg out, point the toes. Do a tricep press as the leg goes up. Press the arms, tap the toes. Inhale, bend the elbows, the leg lifts. Exhale, press the arms, the leg lowers. We have eight more. You get low and you press. And the goal is to get the elbows to tap straight down to the mat and back up. And to get that leg up as high as you can while keeping your core tight. That way we get into that nice glute work while keeping the spine healthy and strong. Bend the elbows, the leg goes up. Press the arms and you tap. We're here for four. Keep reaching long through that extended leg, expanding the energy even further. Two more. One more time, the leg goes up and we're gonna pulse up, down, up, down. Little pulses, elbows pointing straight back toward your body. And the leg goes up as you press the arms for three, two, and one. Switch. Beautiful work, left leg out, point the toes, bend the elbows, the leg lifts, and press the arm and the leg lowers. You bend and press. Do you feel your triceps? I do. So we're gonna really work every muscle in the arm today, as we also work our core and pretty much activate every muscle throughout our whole body. This is the perfect way to wake up each morning, getting those muscles warmed up so we can take on our day. Bend and lift, press and lower, pointing the toes, getting that leg up high. And remember, pull your navel in and up so we have that deep abdominal contraction. Press and lift. We're here for four. Stay with it and breathe last three. Breathing with each movement, two. One more, the leg goes up, we pulse, 10 up, down. So when you bend the elbows, the leg goes up. When you press the arms, the leg lowers. Five, four, breathe through it. Three, two, and one. Awesome work. Setting up for mermaid stretch. Your right knee is bent. The left shin is in line with the front edge of the mat. Reach your arms out. Gather energy across the chest. Bend the right elbow. Reach the left arm way overhead, stretch the side body. 
exhale, lift up to center. And then inhale, reverse that stretch, feeling that stretch throughout the obliques into the lower back. Exhale, center. Bend that right elbow, reach the left arm way up, opening the chest, gazing up. Exhale, lift, center. And then reversing that stretch, maybe reaching a little bit further, getting a deeper stretch with each rep. One more time, bend and reach and stretch out the side body. And then lift back up and reverse that stretch, setting up for a side plank. Bring your right hand or forearm to the mat. Extend the left foot forward, right leg back. Reach your arms up. We're gonna lift the hips and reach overhead. Then drop the hips and look down at your hand. Reach up, stretch the side body. Drop the hips down, getting into our obliques. Exhale, you lift up with length. Inhale, you lower back down. Moving slow and controlled. All 10 toes point straight forward and try to keep the shoulders and the hips stacked. Reach, lift, lower, slow. Exhale, we lift all the way up, scooping into the external obliques. Inhale, lower back down. Exhale, reach all the way up. Inhale, you lower back down. We have three more. Reach and stretch, getting that deep side bend that feels so good. Maybe lifting the hips up a little bit higher. One more time, reach and stretch. Back to center and pulse the hips up, down. Squeeze, release, little pulses, shoulders stacked, core tight. For three, two, and one. Awesome work, mermaid stretch, other side. So now left foot against the right knee, right shin in alignment with the mat. Reach your arms out, lengthen, press the left hand into the mat. The right arm reaches way overhead to stretch the side body. And then lift back up and reverse that stretch. Lengthen the spine, sit up tall. Reach long across the fingertips. Bend into the left elbow. Right arm reaches overhead. And then lift back up and reverse that stretch. One more time, reaching a little bit further each time to get a deeper side body stretch and into our QL. Releasing those hips and reach to the furthest point yet. And lift back up, getting into our side plank, left hand down. Right foot forward, left foot back, reach up and stretch the whole sideways. And then the hips come down and you look down at your hand. We lift up with length throughout the whole body, feeling those bottom left obliques engaging and getting those hips to rainbow up and over. So not only are we working our core and our arms here, but we're developing super strong hips in this move dynamic Pilates, working multiple groups of muscles at the same time. And our own body work weight is sufficient. So we develop so much strength by using our own body weight to do these moves. Reach and down. Exhale, reach and stretch. Inhale, lower, slow. Two more, we go all the way up and back down one more time all the way up lift the arm and we pulse the hips up and down gazing up at that right hand or straight forward to have proper neck alignment just for three two and one awesome work have a seat with the legs extended long out in front of you inhale reach your arms all the way up Exhale, spine stretch forward. Reach over your thighs for a deep spine, lower back stretch. Inhale, lift up to center. Exhale, reach forward with length in the spine. Inhale, lift back up to center. Pull your toes back to the knees. 
Getting a little bit further into that stretch each time. Exhale, reach, stretch forward. Inhale, pull it back. One more time, exhale, reach and stretch forward. Inhale and lift back up. Reach your arms out, palms down. Tilt the towel, scoop the belly, roll it down one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, reach your arms over your head. Exhale, your hands come up, chin to the chest. Roll forward, take that length in the spine. Sit up tall, drop the shoulders. Tilt the tail, squeeze into the inner thighs and pelvic floor. Lower down as slowly as you can. Inhale, reach the arms overhead, filling the lungs up with all that fresh air. And then exhale, hands up, chin tucks. Roll forward, reach for the toes. One more time, sit up tall, relax the shoulders, tilt the tail, scoop the belly, draw the abdominals in and up, reach the arms overhead, inhale, exhale, curl back up, little pulses here, up and down, two to three inches up, two to three inches down, scooping the belly in and up, taking that tension out of the shoulders and neck, three, two, and one, lower all the way down, hug the right knee to the chest, pulse twice, and switch. Pulse, pulse, switch, pulse, pulse, switch. Reaching the opposite leg long out in front of you with pointed toes. We're stretching our hip flexors. We're strengthening our core. We're getting a beautiful psoas stretch here as we work every muscle throughout the abdominal wall. You wanna keep that low back flat and imprinted and connected to the mat as we move through this core work. One more time on each side, right and left. Both knees to the chest, curl up a little higher. Inhale, reach your arms and legs out in an opposite direction. Scoop the air, pull the knees to the chest. Inhale, arms back, legs out. Exhale, contract your core, pull it in. As you reach the arms and legs out, notice if the lower back is lifting off the mat. Try to avoid that. So if that means you need to lift your legs up a little higher in order to keep your back and flat and connected to the mat, that's perfectly fine. It's also a great option to take a small towel, roll it up and place it behind the lower back and that will help you get a little bit more of an imprint if you're having trouble keeping the back flat. One more time, reach and pull. Right leg up, left leg long. Pulse twice and switch. Pulse twice and switch. Your hands go behind your thigh, your calf, or your ankle, depending on how flexible those hamstrings are. But no matter where your hand places it, squeeze your core. Pulse twice, little sniffing breath. Exhale, switch. We're here for four, three, two, and one. Take the hands behind the head, wide elbows. Lower the legs down, pointed toes. Flex the ankles, lift the legs. Point and lower. Flex and lift. Breathe, and if you need to decrease the range to be comfortable for your hips or your back, feel free to take it smaller. Lower, flex, lift, three more. Down, and up, last two. Down, and up, one more time. Down, and up, crisscross bicycle. Rotate the opposite elbow to the knee. Squeeze into your obliques, side to side working toward narrowing the waist as we get that rotation in the torso opposite elbow to knee twist reach rotate and squeeze just for four three two and one hug the knees to the chest lower your head down hands go to the top of the knees start to circle your knees in opposite directions, making imaginary circles up on the ceiling or in the sky. And now reverse the circles, 
taking it the other way. Bring your hands to the mat. Come on up, lift the hips up, bend the elbows, press the arms. Inhale, bend, exhale, press. Keep the hips lifted, keep your gaze up, bend, press. Working our triceps again right here. Bend and press. Three, two, and a one. Turn the fingertips back behind you. Lift the right knee up to tabletop. Drop it down. Left leg lifts. Drop it down. One leg up, one leg down. Your chest is open. Your spine is long. And your glutes are tight and engaged right here to help support the low back. We're working our deep core in our pelvic floor muscles right here. One leg up, one leg down, pointed toes. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your core. And if you need to take a soft bend at the elbows to take some of the pressure out of those arms, feel free to take that. One more time, up and down, and drop the hips, lift the hips. Drop the hips, squeeze into the glutes to lift, down up focus on the glue engagement focus on your outer thigh muscles wrapping it around the back of the legs to lift up toward those glutes feel your inner thighs and pelvic floor and feel the lower abdominals draw down just for three two and a one hips go back legs go out Reach your arms out, tee them to the side. Press your right hand into the mat. Reach that left arm way overhead, stretch the side body. And exhale, lift to center. Bend the left elbow, reach your right arm way up overhead. Stretch it out, hold it here. Lift back up. One more time each way. Right elbow bends, left arm reaches. Lift all the way up. And left hand presses, right arm reaches. And lift all the way up. Awesome work. We're going to come back to a plank position. Hands under the shoulders, legs extended straight out. Drop the right knee and lift. Left knee and lift. Core tight. Neck long. Eyes are focused about four to five inches in front of the fingertips and down. Light tap and lift. Light tap and lift breathe with it barely tapping your knee to the mat and back up one more and up both knees down both legs lift inhale exhale breathing push the energy through the heels and extend it out through the crown of the head three last two one more time hold it right foot out bring it in so the leg extends beyond the mat a little toe tap and pull back Toe tap, pull back, barely tapping the toes, lifting that leg back to center. You're doing great. Stay with it. One more time each way. Right and left and rest. Knees to the mat. Stretch it back to your shell. Stretch your child pose. Forehead to the mat. Booty back to the heels, releasing out the low back. Deep inhales, deep exhales here. One more big inhale. And exhale, come forward, shoulders over the wrist for cat cow. Inhale, arch the back, drop the belly, lift the chest. Exhale, tilt the tail, scoop the belly, round the spine, gazing in between the inner thighs. Inhale, belly drops, tail lifts, heart lifts, chest opens. And exhale, tilt the tail, scoop the belly, round through the spine. We have eight more, trying to get a little deeper into that flexion and extension each time. Taking your gaze up a little bit higher, feeling your heart press forward and the lats engage. Then start the tuck of the tail. The engagement of the abdominals, your chin tucks. 
your lats engage, you look in between the inner thighs or at the belly button, and then drop the chest. Lift the heart, tail lifts, eyes up. Inhale. And exhale, tilt the tail. Scoop the belly, round through the spine, feeling that deep stretch and release in the low back. And then belly drops, tail lifts, and you look up. Continue this movement and breath. I'm trying to increase that range. Try to pull the abdominals in a little bit deeper. And then belly drops, tail lifts, chest open, eyes up. Last one, tilt the top, scoop the belly, round through the spine. And then belly drops, tail lifts, and you look up. Awesome work, we're going into teasers. So your booty goes to the mat, feet flat, knees bent. Reach the arms out, palms down. Roll down one vertebrae at a time, and once the shoulders connect, your arms go up, and the knees come to tabletop. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale, chin to the chest, curl up into our teaser position. Hold it here, hands to prayer. Rotate right, center, left, center. If you need to modify and bend at the knees, or keep one foot down to the mat, feel free to take that modification, side, center side center just for four three two and one reach your hands out hold it here strong core strong arms and legs just hold it drop the right foot lift it up drop the left foot lift it up we go right and left right and left one more time each leg right and left, reach one more time to the toes, and everything drops down. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, let everything go. One more big inhale. And exhale, chin to the chest, roll up, sit up tall. And we are done. Awesome work today. Thank you so much for joining me for this core and arm Pilates workout. I hope you have a beautiful day. See you next time. Oh, 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 oh.